Hello, my name is Sharice. I go online by Denkai from DenkaiDesigns.com and welcome to my Flosty video. Um, I'm going to put out an apology right now because I literally look like a hot mess and that's because I am a hot mess. Seriously, I don't know what's happened to the British weather but it is very un-British like. It is quite warm and it's sort of foisty and close. It's close. So... Yeah, I'm a, a little bit sweaty. <laughs> I apologise. I've tried to like powder a little bit, but no, that's not really. What is happening? Why do I keep stalling with my camera? I might have to cut that out a bit, Mike. I think I'm kind of going a bit jittery. <sighs> Stupid phone. Stupid phone. I'm going to have to get another phone, Mike gonna have to sorry right down to business I have my list right I'll give you a quick life update uh, oh, no this is not working let me delete something maybe that's it hello I'm back Hopefully I fixed the camera because it was like blurring all over the place. I kind of deleted a couple of pictures, a couple of videos. So I'm hoping there's a bit more room and my phone's okay. It's I've had it quite a while and I think I need a new one. It's time for an upgrade. It's starting to fail. Right, where was I? Yes, life up update. Um, thank you everybody for my lovely birthday wishes. They were so sweet. Um, and I have, I will say, quite a bit of haul to show you from birthday goodies and presents and vouchers and things. And yay, birthday goodies. Um, so yeah, thank you for all your lovely wishes and um, for the competition entries, well, competition giveaway entries um, for the fabric and the chart. We've got them to do later, but people had uh, commented on, you know, some of their favourite gifts and things and they were lovely to read. So thank you for that. Um, right, life update. Um, it's been two months, shameful two months, since the last time I did um, a floss tube update. I don't get to stitch very often, maybe like an hour a day max if I'm lucky. <laughs> so um, I don't really have a lot of progress, but which is why I do my month my updates monthly. Um, but yeah, a lot of shit has got in the way. A lot. I am moving house. Yes. Well. Hopefully moving house. I've uh, put my house on the market for sale. So we're like proper pimped up. Everywhere's painted. I've actually decluttered like two skips worth to clear out all of the garage just full of crap. Um, and I feel good. I feel cleansed. I've got this. Um, I like audio books and I like to listen to audio books while I stitch and while I'm doing crafty stuff and things. Um, I listen to like audio stories and there's one by a Japanese lady um, and it's um, finding happiness through tidying um, and what she essentially does is kind of like it's like the art of, of tidying. I'll try and put a link to it. It's really good. Um, it's it's kind of all about how decluttering and things and getting rid of things that you don't need well not really don't yeah things you don't need but more things that don't bring you joy and she's it's really good it's all about the joy um <laughs> so it's like as you're clearing up you basically hold something in your hand and you're like does this bring me joy um uh, does this make me feel happy obviously things that you use like the sellotape or whatever you keep because you need sellotape but other things like my mug my little peacock mug this is amazing peacock mug um, it's by Queens. Yes, this brings me joy. This is my favourite mug. I love it. Um, so I, I would keep this. Whereas my other ones, like the boring ones, then no, get rid. But that's what it's all about. It's about the joy. And she's really good because she like thanks people for things. Well, thanks her items. So she's like, thank you, coat, for keeping me warm today. And it's just it's really funny. It's because uh, it's audio. It's like a spoken book. And the lady who wrote it is uh, Japanese. But um, the lady who uh, speaks it, is that the lady who says it, or who talks, who reads the book to you, um, is 
Her voice is, do you watch Pride and Prejudice? Of course, some of you know Pride and Prejudice. The 1995 version of Pride and Prejudice with Colin Firth. The BBC version, I'm sure a lot of people know this. But the lady who played Charlotte, it's her voice. But So every time I hear it, I think of Charlotte. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, so anyway, I'm rambling. I'm totally rambling. Sorry. I've <laughs> just gone way off. Um, but yeah, I did some uh, cleaning and things, um, and decluttered, repainted, everywhere's clean and really nice. I'll put some pictures in. If you want to see my house, um, I'll put some pictures in now, or Mike will. Bing! So there's some pictures of our house. We've kind of pimped it out, and obviously it's all about letting the light in, and do you know what I mean? So we've got a couple of viewings. Um, and I'm going to look at a house on Friday of one that I like so hopefully moving soon but we'll see you don't know do you I'm quite impatient so I'm like why has no one bought our house yet <laughs> it's been on the market like a week <laughs> um, but yeah apparently these things take time anyway so we've done that um, what else oh yes something I planned a little treat for myself um, I, uh, I go on a couple of retreats a year with other ladies and stuff and they go on the the Mad, ha it was the Mad Haders but now it's just Mad Stitches retreat, that's the one at Crew. so I'll go on that for a couple of, um, I think uh, February is the next one for that, um, I'll put a link to their Facebook group and Mirabilia one, I went in February, is it February or March, February or March for that, or was it April, April <laughs> it's hot and my head's fuzzy <laughs> so I went in April for that and there's one later on in the year in October um, but I'm the kind of person that I I'm happy to be around other people and I like spending time with other people but I like uh, just a little bit maybe like half an hour to an hour of the day to myself as in just me no kids no husband just me whether it's me and stitching or me and computer I mean whatever just a little bit of time to myself so Mike hubby has booked on he's got like a couple of trips coming up he's doing like the three peaks and he's going away for a weekend with his friends so I thought right if he's going away I'll have a little mini stitchy break myself so I have like um, just a weekend booked where it's just me and just stitching and that's in July at the seaside so I can kind of look out over the sea and I'm so excited I'm just like yes get some peace and quiet and no cooking no cleaning and no people no responsibilities just me and the stitching and maybe some wine <laughs> although wine and stitching never mix <laughs> anyway right where am I oh something else I wanted to show you got a new toy I'll show you this is a blowtorch. How cool is it? I'm not going to do it because I've got like paper and things. I'm stitching. <laughs> I've got a blowtorch. I use it for um, making like needle minders and things for like those resin on the top. So you'll kind of waft it with the blowtorch and I get rid of the air bubbles. But you know, you see people like with like blowtorches and like welders and things and they're there with like the goggles and they're like, Arr. you know? That's going to be me. I'm going to get goggles and I'm going to be like, <laughs> I love it. I had to share that because who doesn't love a blowtorch? I mean, I could use it for boring things like meringues or whatever, but you know, I, wish, I should be a welder, shouldn't I? I would love that. Right. Anyway, I'll get to stitching eventually. <laughs> okay. What have I done this month, two month, bi-monthly? Two months right <clears throat> I will show you this you may think what is that that's a lot of green that's what it is and I've literally done a second row <laughs> it's not a lot but I get bored with this because I'll show you the picture of it where is it there I just printed it out it is Geisha by Kathy Delancey. I printed it out and put the picture on there. 
it's beautiful it's a beautiful picture and it will be beautiful stitching if ever I get round to doing it <laughs> it's on um, easy count I've done this on 25 count magic yeah 25 count of the the magic guide so obviously it's all printed out in the squares once it's all done we'll give it a wash it's nice and I like the stitching I'm proud of the stitching it's nice and neat stitching and that's all going well it's just time in it and some I don't know how some people get like pages done and I'm like I got like a row not even a row half a row anyway anyway um crack on cracking on another whip I've got to do the which another whip is the Nora Corbett by Zinnia that's that one how nice is that she's beautiful I love it this is what it looked like before Mike if you would please put it on before and this is what she looks like now so we've got more of the the dress kind of going down we've gone up started on her decolletage going into like the puffy bits on the side and I really want to crack on with them those wings I just think this fabric this what is this fabric oh my god why didn't I write it down I know it's from sparklies and it's a really light green and I can't remember the name of it. I'll try and remember the name of it and post it in the... Oh, I've got random needles sticking out. Eh? That's not good. There we go. So yeah, that is what it will look like eventually. I'm quite proud of that. That's a fair bit there. That is a puffy dress. A hell of a puffy dress. It's nice. And this, I love this. I love it. I'm gonna take. I'm even gonna take this one off its little frame for you. That's how much I love it. Let me get the, the little thing to hold it. And you're gonna think, oh my god, that fabric is amazing. That chart is amazing. It's all amazing. Let me just move that out of the way so you can see that properly. Right. This was enabled. I'm going to say that. I did not have this at all. I did not have the chart. did not have the fabric. And then Facebook happened. Mandy O'Callaghan. I hope I pronounced your name right. I haven't butchered it. She did this. Get this out. How lovely is that? That is Peacock by Alessandra Adelaide Needleworks. I love it, try and get a bit closer. How nice. So that is that. And I saw hers finished and I was like, oh my god, I love peacocks. Peacocks are mermaids <laughs> and unicorns. Anyway, peacocks, back to the peacock. I love it. And I thought, oh, I have to stitch that. So I got the chart. And then I was like, mmm to match the chart the fabric so I went on fabric viewer if you don't know that website you can put in the chart and go to lots of dyes and look on there at different fabrics and it will show you how it will look in real life once it's all stitched up so got a fabric this fabric is I've got a little tag I did have a little tag Oh my goodness, where's my tag for my fabric? Oh, I thought it was real clever keeping the little tag on. It's by Chromatic Alchemy. It's 32 count and it's called Iolite. I O L I T E. There we go. Have I pronounced that right? I don't know. But I thought, yes. How gorgeous is that for a peacock? There we go. I've just started it. The bit that I'm on is just kind of that row there. Just 
just that tiny bit there just in the middle and that'll kind of come down and form like one of the, the first peacock eyes and then it'll kind of go up into the body and then the head there we go that needle minder is gorgeous and I made it which is why I think it's gorgeous <laughs> so yeah I made that for uh, denkindesigns.com but I just thought it was amazing and it goes so well like literally it was like made for the peacock and I just love it I love the chart I love the fabric it is just it's good to stitch it just feels good and it it's not complicated um I've only had to frog once and I think that's because I was distracted it's really nice and I'm really enjoying it and it's what I stitch when uh, my son Eden comes home after school I'll usually do that while he's on the trampoline for it <laughs> so yeah that is that those are just the three that I've done um this month as far as plans go I'm gonna do some more of the peacock because I love doing that that's great um I think I'll bench zinnia for a while although I do want to get those wings done should I do the wings no No, I'm just not feeling it. I want the wings done because I think I'll just pull the pinks and the greens together and the fabric and it'll look lovely but no I'm not going to do that. I do want to do some more of the Hade. I want to get at least I set myself a goal, a challenge. Do they still do the Hade challenges? I remember was it last year or the year before um, Michelle was running like, um, like a, a page challenge in a month kind of thing I think I tried that twice obviously <laughs> that was like the one of the challenges that I did was like a row anyway I'm gonna try and get I'm gonna say a row and a half done on this page I know that doesn't sound like a lot and some people are probably like a oh, row and a half I can do row and a half in an hour I'm not like, I can't do row and a half in an hour <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna do a row and a half this month I'm going to do some more of the peacock, hopefully get the, the top half done. Um, I'm just essentially doing the outline to start with and then I'm going to fill in with all the little the highlight greens bit of, of the peacock and stuff which is going to look beautiful, so beautiful. Um, so yes, we've done that, I'm going to do the peacock and I'm going to get Gypsy Mermaid out again. Yes, Gypsy Mermaid. Bluebeard's Princess, that's what it's called. Bluebeard's Princess <laughs> by Mirabelia. So I'm going to get her out again because I haven't done her in a while and I've got lots of work to do. Doing um, her head and her face and just kind of broken in to like her hair tresses. Do you call them tresses? Tressels? I don't know. Her hair, her wavy hair, it kind of floats. So I'm going to do some of that because I really liked that and I really love stitching that. So we're going to do some work on that, we're going to do the hay, we're going to do the peacock. Those are three. I can manage with the three anymore and I'm just going to be overwhelmed. <laughs> um, right, what else have I got? Haul. The haul comes in the haul bucket. Okay, I saw this one and I, I, yeah, I saw this one about a month ago and I thought it was hilarious. I won't show you the chart because it literally is just a saying and you just obviously pick the fabric that you want it to go on and the chart is <clears throat> it's all shits and giggles until someone giggles and shits <laughs> I love it I love it as soon as I saw it I thought yes I have to get that and I just I have to get it I will say oh who's this by this is by KLT charting design that's her address at the bottom. I'll put a link in. It's so funny. I don't like the H's. To me, it's weird because they're both in capitals where everything else is in lowercase. Have you noticed? Except for the giggles and the S. So I'm going to change the those S's and I'll fiddle around on the chart and put it as smaller ones. But so funny. I don't know how I'll do it. Maybe some. I don't know whether to do it in black on a nice fabric um, or whether to do it as a white fabric and then variegated floss I don't know ideas tell me what you think <laughs> for that so funny <laughs> 
it just reminds me of you know when you say to kids you know if you heat rough housing or whatever it is then someone's gonna get hurt <laughs> oh funny i love it right what else have i got um just some plain white lugana uh for um a little hade that i've got but it's one of like the mini ones um mermaid of atlantis it's about that big but it's one over one so i've got some nice white for that uh we have atlantic depths 32 count murano from crafty kitten i do have plans i've written down started writing down when i order fabric what i got it for because like i said i go on the fabric viewer i match them up and i'm like yeah that's great and then it comes and i'm like oh, what the hell did i buy that for what was it to go with and, you know, not anymore not anymore this one atlantic depths i'll tell you what i'm going to put this one with if i could find it Twin Mermaids by Mirabilia. So that's for that one. Nice. I think you've already seen that because I'm giving it away as one of the giveaway prizes. Yeah, I showed you last video. It's lots of greens and kind of fade. Oh, I'll get it out. There we go. How nice is that? greens purples all kind of faded nicely together i'm gonna to put twin mermaids on if you don't know the chart by mirabilia it's like um see it like this one mermaid kind of facing this way kind of going down like that another mermaid facing this way kind of going down like that and together they're kind of holding like this chalice in between it's very nice so yeah that's that one um atlantic depths this one's actually um, a piece that I've got on the giveaway um, so if you commented on my last video then I'll enter you for this and draw it at the end uh, but this one is on um, linen whereas I ordered a piece of even weave because I, I can't do linen I just can't. so I got that one for that we have these ones just crinkly ones are from chromatic alchemy because she's changed her packaging it's like crinkly this one is Persephone, 28 count Brittany. You can see that. That is lots of blues and purples. If you haven't noticed, I like purple. No, I'm so bad. Oh, what am I doing that one? Persephone um, is for because I'm kind of charting things. I'm by I've got lots of patterns and things, and I'm trying to Get them already in like packs and things you know because like, oh, fancy a new start then i literally just can start something because i've got it all there all the fabric and everything's matched and all the floss is there i just like it all looking nice and all organized i know some people say it's sad but i love it and if i like it then then i like it you can't you know what did i buy this for What did I buy it for? Mermaid Undine. That's um, the Mirabilia mermaid, where she's kind of like sailing across the bottom of the ocean and she's got quite nice, like, um, the beads for that are kind of like the, the tubey beads and it looks like scales. That's very nice. And it's those colours, so it'll match. I also got Hairbell from Sparkly, so I'll take this out and show you. This is 32 count Murano. And this is uh, a very pale blue with some kind of light greeny patches. But they're so faded and woven in together, it looks really nice. It's kind of like a very light mottling. So that is that. I've got that for Renaissance Mermaid. I know some of you are like, what? You already started Renaissance Mermaid? I know. I know that was my start last November when we did um, November. I did Renaissance Mermaid and I was quite a way through it actually. I had quite a lot of the tail done. 
Um, but I tried some of the skin and the fabric was just not right. It was linen, which is why I've gone off linen as well. <laughs> um, and it was kind of pulling and it was, um, it was very loose. The fabric was kind of pulled, but not through me pulling it. It was the way that it, the linen had gone and the holes were quite, it's quite slack. And I don't like slack linen. So yeah, so I thought, right, that's it. No more linen. Get rid of the linen. And I bought this piece from Kate's, aka Sparklies. And it's nice and it'll match perfectly. So, got that. And the last, is this the last? Yes, this is the last one. This is, oh, it's not labelled up. Yes, it is. Lightning Strike. What did I get this for? Oh, what did I get it for? See, this is what happens. Obviously, my plan to write things down did not go very well. Hmm. Okay, never mind. I'll have to go. I have to go. I'll have to go through the packs because I have written it down somewhere else. Anyway, lightning strike. This is from Pole Stitches. This is thirty-two count Murano, even weave, obviously. See previous discussion on how horrible linen is. I'll get this out for you. You can have a look. Surge the edges. I hate when they don't surge them. Lightning strikey. Blues, whites, greys. Nice little sky in there. I like it. Like stormy. So, that is that. I will find out what that is for. Probably a Mirabilia because I was in the process of charting them up. I don't normally buy so much fabric. Um, as I said, I had. Um, a couple of vouchers I was given some money from my mum and some vouchers from my husband which is quite nice I will say if you haven't discovered these let me get them out they're needles by Bowen I don't know if that's B-O-H-I-N they are amazing like I mean I've tried everyone has a preference and stuff Oh, it's a bloody fabric. I am. Um, I've tried needles before. I've tried the the James ones, and I literally can't remember all the other ones off the top of my head. The ones that were kind of in the pebbles. But these, I tried these at um, one of the retreats, and someone was selling um, chromatic. Sam at chromatic helped me with selling them. In fact, I think she sells them at a website. And they're just, they're amazing. They literally just glide through the fabric. It's just, it was that good. You know, you wouldn't think you could tell the difference between one needle and the other. But I was like, oh my God, these needles are amazing. You, you know, the, the difference was that noticeable. And I'm just like, yes, I must buy all the needles. <laughs> so I literally have um, got 24, 26 and some 28s. I would recommend you try just at least try them because they're just to me they're just worth it because they're amazing love them so that is that we've done whips we've done haul rustle rustle with the haul um i've already discussed things i'm gonna do this month this month and that is it we do have Pile. We do have a giveaway, as I said before, for the fabric. The Atlantic Depths fabric is 32 count linen, um, and also this cross stitch butterfly kit. Basically, comes with everything you need: hoop, thread, needles, fabric. Nice little cross stitch kit. So they're the two prizes for the giveaway. Um, they'll be drawn. I will get my 
Not So Glamorous assistant, aka hubby Michael, to do the drawing and pick the winners. I like for him to draw them because I, um, I go on like Facebook and I, get, I know some of the people that kind of leave comments and things and I don't want to see like if they're like, oh my god she gave it to hers because she knows it. No, it's not like that. It's just I want it to be impartial and, you know, I like to give him jobs to make him feel involved. So Mike will pick the winners. Um, we'll just do, he'll do like a, a random number generator. I will post them out to you. Um, I'll pop in a free needle minder as well. So I'll do that. Um, and yeah, that is it. Joke. I am not going to use the dad joke book because as I was pulling up the other day outside the pet shop, they have like a, a billboard outside and they've started putting like funny pet jokes and I, I have to steal one of them and tell you because I was it was hilarious. I was laughing for ages. What do you call a pile of kittens? A mountain. <laughs> How cute is that? Meow, mountain. Oh, incidentally, um, Mike and I, when we do move, um, we're going to get a dog. We decided. Yay! We thought it'd be a really nice little companion around the house for me during the day. Well, when I'm at home, um, it'll be nice for, for us to all get out and take it for walks and stuff and it'd be nice for Eden as well for a bit of company um so yeah we're really excited about that but we have to move house first so we'll see but yay get a dog right that is it um and thank you for watching and I will see you next time I will try not to leave it a month two months and I'll try and do a catch up next month so I'll see you later bye hi so it's Mike and I'm going to do the draw for the prizes. Apologies for the lighting in here. It's not brilliant. I've tried it with the curtains open, the curtains closed. It is what it is, guys. So um, here we go. So to enter, there's two prizes. One is for fabric and then the second is for the chart. Um, to enter, what you had to do was on the Sharice's last plush tube video is comment on and say what your favourite sort of birthday present was. Uh, do you know what I was trying to think what mine would be and do you know what I really don't know. Um, last year everyone co co commented that it was kind of a, s a silly one because I, I basically put down I want Amazon vouchers and I want um, crisps but not just any crisps. Walker's squares which are basically like square crisps um, and that was basically it. So I got a load of Walker's squares crisps and like £100 of Amazon vouchers, which was awesome. And it just meant I could, because I don't really like spending money on myself. So to have like vouchers, you've got to spend them. You can't save them, it's just vouchers. So to spend like £100 of vouchers just on, on me was awesome. I got loads of cool bits and pieces. Um, yeah, my birthday's coming up soon. Exciting, can't wait. Anyway, so it's time for the draw. So what I've done is I've print out all the comments. I've been through them. I'm only entering the ones which you where you've made a comment to talk about your favourite birthday thing. So bear in mind if you're entering prior if you're entering any of Denkai's jaws, if she says it's something you've got to do, you've got to do it. I'm a bit hardball like that. So I have got a my count 56 um, comments to draw from. I've got my random number generator all set up. Okay, so um, the first draw is going to be for the fabric, and I'm just going to line it up there and press generate, and it comes up with what's that number on there? 34. Okay, let's see. So number 34. Here we go. Is uh, Marilyn Houghton, congratulations Marilyn, uh, your best birthday gift was a Martin guitar. Do you know I've always fancied learning how to play the guitar. Um, I'm hideous at music, I'm hideous at singing, um, I really enjoy doing it, I enjoy music, but I can't do any of it. Absolutely dreadful. Um, so um, yeah, congratulations Marilyn. Um, what people have to do, because we can't I don't know if we get messages on YouTube now or something. So if you're a winner, so Marilyn, 
email Sharice, please. Her email address is denkaidesigns at gmail.com. So email her, tell her it's you, and give her your address, and we'll send out the uh, the chart, the, not the chart, the fabric. Congratulations again. Okay, second one then. So the, the second one is for the chart. So again, got my random number generator. Uh, if I just press that, we have got 13, 1 and 3. Lucky for somebody. And number 13 is Magic Pond Crafts. Congratulations, Magic Pond Crafts. And do you know what? I've not got your full comment on here. Um, your for first year of of your marriage, your husband got you. Oh, took you to pick an upright piano as your gift. That is out of order. Look, I think you need to avoid with your husband because he's kind of setting the bar a bit too high for the rest of us. Um, there's a bit, there's a few other ones on there. There's somebody who went to Target and bought a Wi-Fi extender and a napkin holder. That's my sort of level, okay, guys. So if you can just try and make sure the husbands are kind of well-meaning but not too much effort, because um, it makes others look bad. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Anyway, so congratulations to Magic, Magic Pondcrafts. You've won the chart again. Drop Denkai an email. There's Denkai Designs at gmail.com with your details and we'll get that sent out thanks again for watching and uh, yeah see you again soon Is there something else? i need to count to 20 so but it wasn't i'm not counting you counting we're playing hide and seek so you count to 20 and i'll go and hide Yes! Use tablet! That's what I thought. Can you count to 20 tablets when I play hide and seek? Okay, give me a moment. Okay, I found this on the web. So can you count to 20 tablets when I play hide and seek? I'm joking! I'm not sure I understand. I'm joking! Please count to 20 now! Count to 20! Thanks to you, I have a job. What's your name? My name is Siri, but you knew that already. Count to 20, Siri, and now we're going to hide. I'm not sure I understand. 17, 18, 19, 20. You know how many you can count. Let me have a look. Here's what I found on the web for 0, 1 in today. If you don't count, remember 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 000. I won't be allowed to hide. So this is how you count to 20, silly poo. That's not nice. <laughs> Eden, so ask Siri for a joke. Oh, yeah. So tell me a joke. I'm joking, silly. <laughs> then, rule three... You count to 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
And then, this is how you count to 20. 1 to 20. 20 is 20 things. All apples, number jacks, boxes, mummies, flowers, gates, and everything. That's how you count, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Siri, tell me a joke. I don't know what you mean by, I'm joking, Siri sent roses, really, you count to 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 0, 1, 1, okay, 2, I'm 3, hiding. 3, 0, 4, 0. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm warning you into a flour sausage. Hey, Siri, tell me a joke. I'm not sure I understand. No, Mummy, I'm trying to warn Siri. Okay. That may be beyond my abilities. <laughs>